Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'd also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Capricorn from the 7th to the 13th of October 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to my website jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box and I put links to Amazon and eBay so please follow these links to view or to buy the decks. And don't forget to watch my videos on Simple Energy Healing Remedies, my deck walkthrough series, as well as my new series on gemstones and crystals. you find those very, very interesting. So like, share and subscribe if these messages resonate with you. I'm doing uh, the general energy read and I'm using the Oracle of the Radiant Sun for that. And the first card is Idealism. And this is about, um, you know, having uh, an idea about what you want to do. But maybe it's uh, not really based in, uh, in the reality. Uh, there is some help coming in for you. You need to ask people for guidance, maybe. Uh, you might even need to ask for some divine guidance. But there, you need to listen to other people's opinions um, and find out what is going to be the best thing or the best course of action for you over there. Uh, because you might have a little bit of an idealistic um, idea about what is going on or what you want to do, and it might not be founded in reality. So there is a need for you to just really maybe ground yourself a little bit and also get some guidance in the form of um, you know asking people for what their opinions are or asking for some help. There seems to be some kind of choice that you're facing. You seem to be a little stuck uh, as to what to do. You could be dealing with some legal issues as well with that uh, justice uh, symbol over there, the scales, weighing the options as well as to what you want to do. So you are indecisive. You're trying to make some kind of big choice. You're not quite sure what the outcome is going to be and you do need to go and ask for some help from somebody around you. It's something brand new that you want to start. So you have an idea that you want to go down a different route, uh, maybe have a change your life path, change your life course. You've got a lot of, you've got the anchor sign over there. This is about changing your life course. So maybe this is a really, really big decision that you have, you want to make and to move, um, and you want to move in a completely different direction. And that is the reason why you do need to go and ask for some help and go and ask for some um, advice from somebody around you. So in the past, you've got the criticism card and you've got the affair. Uh, so maybe people have been, um, you know, overly critical about everything that you've been doing. It seems there's been some kind of uh, love relationship that you may have ended over here with this affair card, or you may have even started a new relationship. But people are pointing fingers at you, um, you know, being very, very critical about everything you're doing, uh, you know, and uh, this has not been going well. You've been trying to follow your instincts over there, uh, follow your intuition, uh, and maybe not listening to whatever they've got to say. Maybe even your partner within your relationship has been uh, giving you a little bit of grief, um, you know, pointing out your faults, if you like, over there with that affair card. So um, this is about, uh, you know, maybe just ignoring what, uh, people have got to say maybe you've been trying to make this big change and a lot of people have had something to say about it and and that uh, you know may not be the right maybe these are not the people that you need to listen to really uh, you need to follow people who are going to be there to support your views or support you not criticize you now going into the future you've got the exaltation card over there this, this is showing abundance coming in you've got the moon there sitting in Taurus so personal money and personal finances are going to be growing for you over there and there's a lot of fulfillment in whatever career that you're going to be doing you've got Saturn there with Sagittarius you might be thinking of actually expanding onto that international front especially with that sign of Sagittarius this is going global over there and that's going to bring the money in so really ignore everybody else's criticisms whatever you're doing is going to definitely bring the ships in and you've got that exaltation card over there with the moon sitting in Taurus it's going to bring in a lot of personal finances so you are going down the right route really as far as your career goes and even though people might be critical about everything it's something brand new and something brand new that you want to start this new direction and it's going to be very very successful for you and might uh, involve a lot of travel so a big decision coming up for you there listen to what people's opinions are you do need some kind of you might need some kind of professional advice uh, but you know seek advice from people who are looking out for your needs rather than people with ulterior motives uh, but whatever you do is going to be pretty successful and it's going to definitely bring in that personal finance for you there. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to 
be using the Everyday Enchantment Tarot for the main read. Okay, let's see what's going on. At the bottom of the decks, you've got the eight of Ace of Coins. So this is starting something brand new and brand new money coming in. You're building something from the ground up. So you might be going independently of wherever you've been working at, maybe starting your own business, starting your own company, going uh, definitely starting something brand new. You're building foundations over there, and new money is going to be coming in with that. You've got the Seven of Wands over here, so you're having to defend yourself in this particular in this particular situation, you're having to, to tell people exactly where you stand uh, because, you know, the, the card below it was the tower. So there was some kind of big event that happened, a big drama that happened for you. You've had to defend yourself in this situation. You might have had to face legal issues as well. And now you're starting afresh uh, there with this ace of coins, starting something brand new over there. But it is going to bring the coin in over here. You can see there's a wallet lying open over there with a coin over there and there's a lot of cards there. So money is going to be coming in over here, but you're going to have to put in a lot of hard work and a lot of hard effort uh, in order for you to make that manifest. You've got the hangman over here and the chariot. So you are waiting for things to happen. You're waiting for some kind of news to come in there with that hangman. You're being very, very patient about it. The chariot card is saying that, you know, instead of waiting, you may need to be very proactive. You need to take charge. You need to be the one that's, uh, you know, steering that um cart if you like um and um you can see that this this uh, person is on the skateboard and it's up to this person to decide which way he goes so nobody else seems to be helping you out you can see all these people walking on and completely ignoring this person this child uh but Whatever this noose is that's going to come in, you've got a dove here and then you've got the pigeon here. They're, these are both of the same family of birds. So there is some big news. It might not be quite what you expected uh, the news to be. Whatever that message is that you are, have been waiting for might not turn out exactly as what you want, but it's going to be something that steers you in the right direction. So you do need to take and act on that uh, news that is coming in. And by acting on it, you will be successful in whatever it is that you're going to be doing. You've got the strength card over here, so having you have faced a lot of problems, but you're still standing. So whatever it is that uh, brought in that tower energy for you, it didn't bring you down. It's made you stronger with that strength card. So you had the tower coming in past over here, um, and it seems like uh, whatever's had you, uh, you know, um, whatever life threw at you, you seem to have overcome it. You've got the Queen of Coins over here, and this is your card. You are standing up for yourself. You're working on your finances, and you're working on your independence as well. You might be a single mother as well, raising children. So you are working very, very hard on that. You could also be in a position where you are um, at, on the work front, where you are in a leadership position, and you are managing people and finances, and you're managing resources as well. Uh, you know, And it is bringing in that coin. You are um, being paid pretty uh, reasonably well for that particular job that you're doing now you've got the five of blades sorry that's not sorry what you want is the wheel of fortune and this is you want big changes to come in you're trying to steer things in your direction you can see he's rolling that wheel over there uh, things might feel as though they're a bit out of hand at the moment but the wheel of fortune is what you're waiting for for you to have a change of luck so you're hoping that this um, whatever it is that you're going to be starting is going to be with this new ace of coins whatever it is you're starting you're hoping that that steers things in the direction that you want it to go you're making a brand new start you've got the we the fool over here so whatever it is this new job uh with this new ace of coins coming in the fool shows that making a brand new start and doing something quite extraordinary as well you have a rainbow in this card and this is showing that it's going to be You've got a lot of plans and you're putting them into place. You're making, you're communicating a lot of your ideas out there. And, you know, you might have a little bit of pitfalls, 
uh, along where you can see there's spilled paint over here but for all intents and purposes the sun's coming out over there and things are starting to move you're rebuilding whatever that tower destroyed you are starting from scratch again and you are rebuilding and it's going to be successful You've got the Eight of Cups over here, so you've had to walk away from a very, very difficult situation, something that you could not sort out, and you've had to leave it and move move on with that Eight of Cups. So um, it seems like uh, you've had to let go. Maybe you've uh, left that job, or you've left even... It could have even been an emotional situation. You could have gone, f uh, you know, had a divorce. Um, this um, chariot card shows that maybe even, uh, you know, you could have moved home recently as well. Maybe you've decided to buy a new home. The chariot card is ruled by uh, cancer, and that is uh, the, the um, sign that rules the home. So you could have made a brand new start, or you're, you're making plans on making a change, complete change, and moving on. And it does seem like you left something rather emotional behind, because you've got a lot of cups over here. They're all dirty, so it seems like whatever that situation was, it was it was not serving you, and it was not a good situation to be in. Everything, uh, you know, it caused a lot of emotional upset. You had worked very, very hard um, towards building that s a situation, but everything went up in flames, it seems. And you've had to just let go and walk away from it. Now, two cards have fallen over here. And we've got that Queen of Blades and the Page of Blades. So it seems like this could have been a divorce that you went through. And you've had to make a fresh start. There was a, a, a decision, a legal decision that you're either waiting for. Um, or that might have come in for you there. And so you have been, uh, you know... You're taking charge of your life again. You're taking your control back again. Um, you might even be waiting for some kind of legal news to come in over there. But you're very, very focused on that work. And you're looking for answers as well. You can see both these cards. She, he's got um, this magnifying glass over here. And she's got a microscope over here. So you're, you're doing a lot of analysis of that situation to find out exactly what went wrong. And you're not allowing um, anybody else's opinions to um, deter you as well. You're very, very determined. She's pointing fingers so, you know, you know who has caused these problems and you're actually getting them, you know, you're backing off, staying away from these people. But you're being very critical of the situation. You're not allowing anybody to uh, get under your skin anymore. You're taking your control back. So, like I said, you could be waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in as well. You could be waiting for um, maybe um, a divorce um, to be finalized. That could be happening with you there. And that news will come in for you, yeah. You've got a, uh, the lover's card over here, so there's a choice that needs to be made. Um, and uh, you are undecided at the moment as to what to do next. So you are sitting at a bit of a dilemma over there, and you're worried. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the death card over here, the five of blades, like this, and you've got the seven of cups. So with the death, uh, the five of blades, a lot of conflict. Like I said, you could be w waiting for some kind of legal decision to be passed, but you have been through a lot of problems, and uh, you know maybe facing somebody who is very very nasty as well with that five of blades, somebody who is very o overpowering. You could also have been dealing with some kind of legal issue over there with that five of blades. It seems like that situation is coming to an end with the death card, and you're going to start afresh. So you're leaving behind the past and you're moving on. Uh, you know, you've come to terms with it and you are now moving on. It's reached its conclusion. With the Seven of Cups, there's a lot of options for you to uh, choose from. You've got um, things that you want to do or things that you want to get done. You're looking into all of these things very critically and trying to decide what is the best option for you. There's a lot of paint pots over there. So everything seems to be, uh, you know... Um, attractive if you like <laughs> there are a lot of options available for you so you do need to do your research and find out exactly where you want to go from here so being faced with a, a lot of choices but you will make a new start and it's going to be successful whatever that option is but make sure you are doing your research know exactly where you're going to you know it's no use you heading away from a situation with this eight of cups and not knowing where you're going the path the door is open for you uh, there are no obstacles in your way anymore um, that legal decision or whatever that official decision comes in it's going to just open things up for you end that old situation where you were um, you know completely um, with that eight five of blades you know where you were bullied or where you have had people uh, criticize you all of that is coming to an end with this death card and now the door opens for you to have make a choice about what you want to do. And whatever you decide to do, however you decide to move, it's going to be quite a positive outcome. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, 
Archangel Power Tarot. If this is all about work, it looks like you will start off something fresh. There's a lot of options also available on that work front for you, and it's going to be successful as well. So you've got the Knight of Ariel, and this is about work, and this is about there's much to accomplish. Make a detailed plan, being watched over by somebody kind. So you need to put knuckle down and get things done. Don't procrastinate. Um, it's going to take a lot of hard work and effort. You are starting from the ground up, and uh, that will be successful, but it's going to take a lot of hard work on your part. You've got the page of Raphael, so this is about news coming in for you, a new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights. So you will be able to build your castle again. There is messages, and with the page of Raphael, it might be even uh, help coming in for you. There could even be an apology coming in with that page of uh, Raphael. But it seems like, you know, you are moving on your own path you're going it alone now and you're building yourself from the ground up as well you're putting your emotions behind you and you're thinking a lot more logically and you're much more stable right now uh, and you are going for it uh, with the page of Raphael, there's also about it's a period of healing for you as well and that is important um, you know if you have any medical issues make sure you're seeking any me you're seeking medical help uh, with this page of Raphael. but it looks like you're going through healing as well and you've got the peace card over here. So release the past. There's much more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So you're going to have to trust in the universe to get you through the situation. Uh, you know, um, this is the death card. And this is about endings of situations. You've got it twice over here. Uh, so, you know, this is about letting go and moving on. And there will help be help that comes in as well with that page of Raphael. So there is help coming in. If there are social situations that you get invited to, make sure that you're going out over there because that will help in the healing process. It might be social events that come in through the work front over there. Uh, and that is the thing that's going to allow you to let go of the past. Now, um, you know, the work is going to be the thing that gets you out of a difficult situation. And if you're starting off afresh on the work front, make sure that you are focused on that coin or focused on that work and put all your effort into it. Don't sit and wait for things to happen. You need to be quite proactive with that chariot card in order for you to move forward. And once you do that, um, things will be very successful. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.